It seems Indian government is financially supporting companies that plan to build IC fabs in India. What's your opinion on India's future regarding chip manufacturing? So the government definitely helped、um, develop the software industry,、uh, prin principally software outsourcing business in India.、Uh, and I would say today, as far as I know, the government is also interested in trying to. Uh, Uh, help a chip, a, a microprocessor or semiconductor manufacturing business in China.、Um, for many years, some of the Chinese IT companies have been quite good at、uh, chip design and testing.、Um, so they they have those skills, but、um, I don't believe they have any type of、uh, semiconductor foundries of any scale、uh, in India. So the the semiconductor manufacturing business is becoming more and more concentrated in a smaller number of companies that have the money to invest in next generation fabrication plants. So it's really become quite concentrated in Taiwan, Korea, Japan, the U.S. and China, but not in India. So what is India going to do? I, I think they will keep trying, but I don't see that India is much of a threat. In semiconductor manufacturing, maybe not for the next ten years.、Uh, it's just too expensive for them, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's too expensive.、Um, it's very advanced on the technology side, and the profit margins are not really high in manufacturing semiconductors. The real money is in controlling the platform. So companies that Like Intel and Nvidia, or ARM, that control the design of the microprocessor, and and can charge a high price when they license their designs,、um, or even if they contract out manufacturing and then resell the chips,、uh, you you need to control the design. So there's I don't think there's much money in the actual manufacturing. It's again become a A high-tech commodity service.、Uh, anyway, India will try because, as we know, in the last year there's been a real、uh, shortage of chips. So it will try probably to get some companies, Intel, Nvidia, Samsung, Micron Technologies, others, to maybe set up a foundry in India. And as they did in the software industry, they gave a lot of tax breaks to those companies. They also took advantage of the education system in India, and I don't see that as an advantage for semiconductors. So in software, for example, Indian colleges and universities they educate. People in English, and they educated students quite well in basic computer science programming. And it's not expensive to do that. And India had an advantage in becoming a software outsourcing industry because of the English skills and basic programming skills. So, companies like Tata and Infosys,、uh, WePro became big quickly. I was a director of. One of the early companies that founded the industry, a company called Patni Technologies. So the advantages India had in software do not really exist in semiconductor manufacturing, which is much more capital intensive. It's lower margin, I would argue, less profitable, and depends on massive capital investments and very sophisticated technology. Whereas software really just relied on people. And their English language skills and and programming skills, which were were cheap in India, there are a lot of people in India, and a lot of well-educated people who all speak English. So, anyway, so I don't think India is much of a threat to China on this front, or to or to Taiwan,、uh, or Korea. Not yet. We'll see what happens,、uh, but it'll take ten or twenty years. Uh, probably before we see much investment in India semiconductor manufacturing, but probably it will happen everywhere because chips become just basic components of of every product we make, right?
uh, consumer electronics, your toaster ovens, your personal computers, your cloud servers. So just to diversify supply chains and access and pricing, and currency, uh, I'm sure companies will, will build some plants in, in India, just like uh, most software companies uh, and computer companies have established development centers in India to take advantage of uh, the labor there. And uh, um, so it could, it'll happen eventually, but not, not very soon.